collection of stories. It's kind of a memoir told through travel stories. And it is, um, it's very personal. It's fun. Uh, people, I'm, I am astounded. We're, we're into third printing. So it's been selling quite well. Um, and people who I don't know at all have written such complimentary things about it. I'm, I'm delighted with it. But what I'm really delighted about it is that people will say, I read this and you've, and you've really sparked the desire in me to go travel to places oh. and to be more adventurous, you know, because I'm not the person who goes to London and sees Big Ben. Mm -hmm. I'm the person who goes all around the world. And if I'm in London, I'm making friends. And if I'm in Paris, I'm making friends. And I'm doing things that are not the typical tourist um, activities, um, which is what I, and, and by the way, the thing that people, that other people have taken from this, and I've, and I've always said this, is if you're going to travel, and especially if you're on your own, think about something you're passionate about, something that you really, really love. Um, for me, it's, I love seeing art. I love going to nature, um, be it a garden or a park or the woods. Um, and go to those places because that's where you're going to find other people who love the same things. And then you have something to connect on. And people who like sports or who like, who are real foodies or, you know, love wine or music, it doesn't matter what it is. But if it's something you love and you go out into the world and go look for it, you're going to find other people who love the same thing. And that's a fabulous way to connect with people. It really is. And I, I highly recommend that, um, which a lot of people don't think about. You know, it's like, oh, I want to go to that city. Well, why do you want to go to that city? Or I want to go to that country. Why do you want to go to that country? Is it because somebody told you it's a fabulous city? Or is it because there's something there that's really going to be exciting for you? That's why you should be going somewhere. So, um, and I can always find something to be excited about. I'm, I'm sort of fascinated by everything. I'm very curious. Curiosity is a great attribute to have if you are a traveler because it'll get you looking for things that aren't the typical things. And that's when you learn about people. And, and you know, for me, learn when you've done a lot of traveling, maybe not as much as I've done, but a lot of traveling. What you start understanding is that people all around the world are basically the same. They want the same things. They want to have a good life for themselves and their families. Um, you know, they want to have food. They want to be educated. And um, it's, it gives you a whole different perspective. You know, you're not listening to the news and you're not listening to what the governments are doing. You're just interacting with people. And, and people are great. Um, you know, the yeah, as I said before, vast majority of people are curious and fun and, and really want to connect. And, and to me, you come away being a much better global citizen for having traveled a bit. Sure. Now, I love your possible outlook, right, towards um, let's travel over thing. So I wanted to share with my audience somehow the important guidelines that one can follow to minimize um, travel risk. Well, at the moment, there's risk everywhere because of COVID. Sure. There's no right. question about it. I mean, I have not done any international traveling. In fact, I came back to the U.S., on March 16th of 2020, which was the, Ooh. and I was in, I was in London visiting friends and it was the last day that Americans could come back without problems into the United States. <laughs> so, that was, so that made for an interesting experience. Um, but apart from that, um, as I said, money is less of an issue than you think, but you do need some money, um, you know, but you can, you can Sorry. certainly stay at inexpensive places. My criteria for a great place to stay is it's clean and it's safe. That's all I really care about. Um, has a comfortable bed. Um, beyond that, I'm you know I'm not staying at fancy hotels because it doesn't matter to me. I'm not spending my time in the hotel room. Um, 
the, you do need to have some care about the food. Um, you know, there are some things that will get you sick. And, you know, that's no joke. Um, if you're not used to the food and the water, you need to be extremely careful about that. Um, I've gotten sick a couple of times, but not so sick that was a huge problem for me. Um, if you're going somewhere that has um, the possibility of any diseases <clears throat> that you have not been exposed to, and it's different in different places, you know, in Asia and Africa and South America, um, make sure that you've had the vaccines before you go. Um, it is important. Um, and then um, just, you know, be, have some street savvy. That's the, the best advice I can give you is, you know, just be, be cautious. Um, and you never know when something's gonna happen. I've only once had my, my wallet stolen and it was in Japan. Oh. And everybody goes, in Japan? Oh. Yep. Oh. And I said, I don't think my credit card's going to do them much good because with the name Gershowitz, <laughs> there is no Japanese person. This was years ago before the internet that anybody was going to be able to use it. Um, you know, and, and fortunately, um, I always keep my passport separate mm. from my money, very separate, um, so that there was no chance of my, my passport getting stolen. Um, you know, so you have to be a little bit careful. Um, and if you're going for the first time and, you know, you're not an experienced traveler, I, my, the first trip you go on should not be, you know, to um, Indonesia, you know, or Bolivia. I mean, go, go somewhere that's, you know, a somewhere that's, that's more used to tourists um, and then, you know, and then go somewhere that's a little more adventurous. Uh, oh, and the other thing is, be prepared um, with clothing that's appropriate. Um, and I say this <laughs> when I, the, I said I went to Japan when I was in college and I brought two pairs of shoes with me. Well, in six weeks, I wore out basically both pairs of shoes because we were walking so much. Mm -hmm. It was an impossibility to buy a pair of shoes in Japan. As an American, I have large feet. Mm -hmm. Japanese have very small feet. And even men's shoes didn't fit me. And so for the last week, I was wearing shoes that I had literally duct taped together because they were falling apart. And so it hadn't even occurred to me. You know, so think a little bit about that if you're going for a long trip. And also, I mean, if you're coming to New York now, people are cold, but they don't think how cold it is. Today, it's not even gonna get to freezing not even close to freezing. <laughs> and there is a very, very wicked wind out there. So it is bitterly, bitterly cold. And you have to dress appropriately for that. Um, so, you know, there are things to think about, but none of it is so complicated that you can't get past it. Sure. Thank you so much for that. And Karen Gashowitz for your submission and for your professional insights on the topic of discussion, especially on travel, right? I wish you best of luck in all your projects. And now, Karen, do you have any part of what you'd like to share with my audience? Question. Well, um, my passion is to get other people to travel. And my passion is to get people to take opportunities in life. Um, say yes more often than you say no, no. Um, be willing to make changes and to experience things. I said, I've had many careers in my life. I went from being a ceramicist to a market researcher, to a marketing consultant. Um, I retired a couple of years ago. I am now a mentor to entrepreneurs. I became an author, you know, with a second book coming. Um, I give talks all over the place about entrepreneurship because I want people to be able to succeed. Um, think about other people and, and what you're really passionate about in your life and, and follow it because that's for me, the way to be happy in life is to, you know, is to, to follow what you care about and also to think about other people and what you can do for them and how you can help them to live really fulfilling lives. 
And for me, that's, that's kind of the bottom line. So I've, I've tried to live by that and so far so good. <laughs> Great, great motivation you've got here, Karen. Thank you once again. Any social media connections on your website? Um, well, there are all kinds of connections. First of all, <laughs> um, I, I've been, since I, since the book was um, put, by the way, the website is karengershowitz.com. Um, and Gershowitz is, I'm sure you're going to put the name up there, so <laughs> I'm not going to spell it. Um, it is, it's also got hundreds and hundreds of photos from my travels. So even if you don't read the book, and I have a blog up, so you'll get to see the kinds of things I've been doing. Um, there are um, lots of, I've been on T American TV all over the place and other podcasts, and they're all up on the, on the website. So lots of, lots of places to go and to see and, 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 you know, and if you can order the book, although God knows how long it'll take to get to Nigeria, I hate to think, my friend <laughs> in London, it took him a month to get it in London, so, but hey, <laughs> it's worth a shot, you never no know. When I, when I come over to New York, I'll get mine. There you go. <laughs> and, there's, and, there is, and there is an ebook. so. Oh, good to know. <laughs> That's, good to that's know. the other possibility. You can always get the ebook. That's right. That's right. Um, but, but definitely go onto the site to go see the photos because they're fun. They really are fun. Great. Good to know that. Thank you once again, Karen, for your time on the show today. I really had an incredible time, I tell you, right? I wish you best of luck once again. And thank you, audience, for joining me on the show. Really had a great time with Karen Gasheries on the show today, right? If you want to catch up with any of my missed episodes, go online and search for Live Early by Mobile Stephen on any podcast distribution platform to bump into. And do have an amazing time listening to this show, right? Till I come your way, I need you to always stay safe. With all my love, I talk to you soon. Thank you. I didn't Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to Life Well Lived by Amabala Stephen. It's an engaging and enlightening talk show on life, relationships, and the business of life. Grab a cup of juice and just chill. Life Well Lived by Amabala Stephen. Live life. Live fully.